a study of the effect of cross-sectional shape on free surface channel hydrodynamic instability is accomplished. At the outset, the rating exponent beta, fruit number F, and Vedernikov number V are identified as the controlling variables. A steep line channel is specified for the analysis. The selected design discharges Q equal 100 cubic meters per second, with bottom slope S equal 0 0.06 and Manning's N equal 0 0.025, closely resembling the flow conditions of the Huayna Hawira River in La Paz, Bolivia, where roll waves have been shown to recur with disturbing regularity. The testing program considers the variation of the bottom width B in the range 5 greater than or equal to B greater than or equal to 1 at 1 meter intervals and the side slope Z in the range 0 0.25 greater than or equal to Z greater than or equal to 0 at 0 0.05 intervals. The online calculator online channel 15B is used to calculate the relevant hydraulic variables culminating in the values of rating exponent beta, fruit number F, and Vedernikov number V for each of 30 cases. The results show conclusively that as the channel width is reduced from 5 to 1 meter and the side slope reduced from 0.25 to 0, that beta, F, and V are reduced first gradually and then sharply as Z tends to 0, with the asymptotic Z equals 0 corresponding to a rectangular channel. For a given design application, these findings may be used to determine optimal geometric cross-sectional values for B and Z in order to assure that V is less than 1 and therefore avoid flow hydrodynamic instability in the associated roll waves. <music>Free surface instability in open channel flow is generally manifested by the development of roll waves. These are unsteady flow features associated with steep line channels when the Vedernikov number V is greater than or equal to 1. However, it can be shown that the actual development of a roll wave depends primarily on the shape of the cross section, whether it is trapezoidal, rectangular, or triangular. For a given channel cross-section, there is a unique relationship between the exponent beta of the rating and the ratio V over F, in which F is the fruit number. In some circumstances, roll wave phenomena may be of such magnitude as to actually place at risk life and property. This fact is confirmed by the roll waves that occur with worrisome regularity in the Huayna River in La Paz, Bolivia as shown in the following video insert. We posit that the design of a line channel for the control of roll waves may be accomplished by a judicious choice of cross-sectional shape. The way to accomplish this is to choose, at the design stage, a channel shape that effectively reduces the Vedernikov number below the threshold value of 1. Therefore, the design focus centers on the value of beta, the exponent of the rating, defined in terms of V over F. Herein, we use the online calculator online channel 15b, which determines values of f, v, and beta for a prismatic channel. We run the calculator for a series of cross-sectional shapes, including trapezoidal and rectangular, keeping constant the following variables. 1. Discharge Q. 2. Manning's N. And 3. Bottom slope, S. The effect of the cross-sectional shape is tested by running the calculator for several suitable values of side slope z with the flow depth y set to correspond with the selected discharge q. The aim is to examine the behavior and sensitivity of the flow variables to the Froude and Vedernikov numbers and to the concomitant value of beta. 
In practice, it may be shown that channel stability is attained for values of beta close to but clearly greater than 1. Therefore, the optimal cross-section from the standpoint of channel stability corresponds to the lowest value of beta greater than 1 that is compatible with project cost, optimal footprint dimensions, and other relevant considerations. The theory of hydrodynamic stability of open channel flow is due to Vedernikov. Several years later, Kraya clarified the Vedernikov criterion by stating it in terms of the wave celerities. The vedernikov kraya criterion states that roll waves will form when the sedon celerity equals or exceeds the Lagrange celerity, that is, when the kinematic wave celerity governed by gravitational and frictional forces equals or exceeds the dynamic wave celerity governed by inertial and pressure gradient forces. In this case, the Vedernikov number V greater than or equal to 1. Otherwise, V is less than 1, that is, dynamic waves travel faster than kinematic waves, and consequently the flow is stable. In 1907, Cornish showed, apparently for the first time, a photograph of the fascinating phenomenon in a paper published in the Journal of the Royal Geographical Society. In 1948, Powell christened the concept by stating, to wit, this criterion, which I am calling the Vedernikov number. Later, Venti Chao referred to the phenomenon as the instability of uniform flow, implying that under certain conditions, the flow could become unstable and break into a train of roll waves. The roles of mass and energy are seen to be central to the development of roll waves. While kinematic waves transport mass, dynamic waves transport energy. Therefore, the occurrence of roll waves is seen to be related to the unsteady transport of mass overcoming the unsteady transport of energy. In this light, roll waves are a curious physical manifestation of the preponderance of mass transport over energy transport in unsteady open channel flow in steep channels. There are three characteristic velocities in open channel hydraulics. One, the mean velocity U of the normal steady flow expressed by the Manning or Chessy formulas. Two, the relative velocity V of kinematic waves expressed by the Seddon celerity formula. And three, the relative velocity W of dynamic waves expressed by the Lagrange celerity formula. These three velocities can define only two independent dimensionless ratios, the Froude and Vedernikov numbers. The Froude number is the ratio of the velocity of the normal steady flow U to the relative celerity of dynamic waves W, in which D equal hydraulic depth, D equal A over T, A equal flow area, T equal top width, and g equal gravitational acceleration. The Vedernikov number is the ratio of the relative celerity of kinematic waves v to the relative celerity of dynamic waves w. The third ratio, a function of the other two, is the dimensionless relative kinematic wave celerity v over u, expressed as follows. The neutral stability fruit number F sub ns is that which corresponds to the Vedernikov number V equal 1. Therefore, the neutral stability fruit number is a function only of beta, the exponent of the rating. Equation 4 
shows that as beta tends to 1, the neutral stability fruit number F sub n s tends to infinity. In practice, however, the fruit number is bounded by the demonstrably finite amount of friction, and maximum fruit numbers do not realistically exceed a value in the range 25 to 30. Therefore, the inherently stable channel must be considered a theoretical construct. More importantly, however, certain cross-sectional shapes featuring values of beta close to but greater than 1 result in an actual increase in the value of the neutral stability fruit number F sub ns, effectively reducing the probability that the flow will become unstable. This line of reason is pursued here to find the optimal shape of cross-section, typically trapezoidal, that will show to be both practical and stable. Thank you.